Camden County students head back to class as we mentioned earlier this morning. Unlike Duval County students, masks will be mandatory. Delta variant spreading quickly, not just here in Florida, but also in Georgia. And Camden County has one of the highest infection rates per capita and highest positivity rates per capita in the state. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live from St. Mary's Elementary School in Camden. And Ashley, the school bell rings in about 20 minutes. Beside masks, there are several other changes for students this year. Right, Bruce and Jennifer, there are a couple of changes this year. First of all, masks are not only required on campus, they're also going to be required on buses as well. As you mentioned, though, we're 20 minutes out from the school bell ringing here at St. Mary's Elementary. We've seen quite a few people make their way in. We are noticing, yes, they are. They are masked up as they walk toward the building and into their classrooms. Lots of parents with their kids wanting to still have those first day fun moments like taking pictures uh, by the sign. And you see some right over here as well. They're just getting out of their car, getting ready to put their masks on and make their way in to greet their teachers. But yes, the reason for all this is because the transmission rate in Camden County, it is extremely high. Now, again, I want to show this to you right here. The district says assemblies and other large gatherings unfortunately are on hold until further notice. Field trips will only be allowed if safety measures can be followed. Also, volunteer programs are on hold as well, and parent-teacher conferences are going to be held virtually. Now, Camden County held its open houses this past Friday to welcome students back to campus. You know, Camden is not the only district in Georgia to require face masks. Four of Georgia's largest school districts, including Atlanta, Clayton, DeKalb, and Gwinnett, will also require them, but other districts like Cobb, Marietta and Fulton are making them optional. Now we spoke with one Camden County mother whose son is going to be starting the third grade this morning. She actually tells us she believes that masks do help in a couple of ways. This year he didn't get strep, you know, any kind of flu. The year before he had, oh my goodness, eight times he was out sick. So I think the masks are very helpful for the young children, especially since they can't get vaccinated. And speaking of vaccinations, Georgia still has low numbers. And as of this past Wednesday, less than half of eligible Georgians were fully vaccinated. Again, the bell is ringing in just about 20 minutes. Uh, parents and students are making their way. We are going to be here for that. Keep everyone posted. Live in Camden County, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.